Warriors, welcome to Ultimate Male Academy. In this video, I'm going to do a review on this dog pepper spray from Saber. This has a key change to it. And I was watching a video about this product and in the video it says that this product works on most of the dogs and that kind of lead me to have a concern is that when I use a product, I want to make sure that it works on all of the dogs rather than it only works on most of the dogs. Then the question is, which dog does it not work on? So this is kind of lead me to not feeling 100% confidence to use this product. And then the bottle is small and if I'm being attacked by multiple dogs, then I don't know if this is going to be enough for me to protect myself. I did not know there was a such thing that is called dog pepper spray. There were times that I was walking with my dogs and there were people who did not put the dogs on the leash and the dogs were approaching us and I felt terrified having big dogs approaching us. And whenever you experience aggressive dogs approaching you, even when you are going to travel to some countries, they don't have a law that requires every dog to be vaccinated like in the United States, then you don't know if that dog is vaccinated or not. And then there are people who got seriously injured and lost their life from dog attacks. It is essential that you keep something with you for you to defend yourself in case such event of a dog attack occurs and at least you know that you can protect yourself you can protect your dogs and that way you are confidently walking around without fearing any dogs attacking you this product is say that it spray up to 12 foot so i'm going to use my tape measurement to do a measurement from the paper that I will be spraying to where I will be standing to see how far is the 12 foot will be. From that piece of paper to right here, it is about six foot. And where I am standing right now, it is about 12 foot for my target. And to use this pepper spray, all I have to do is for me to turn this top of the cap here to the side like this until you see that the hole is pointing in this position. And all you have to do is to press this button down so it has the word say press here so what i would do is i will be pressing the button down pressing it on my target to see how this works of course i will be using my thumb to press down the button This is about six foot that I am away from my target. That was how much I spray. And then now the bottles is already empty. It seems like this is only good for one time use on one dog and I can say that I probably will be struggling if I am going to be attacked by multiple dogs trying to use this small little bottles. What if two dogs, three dogs attacks me? Now I use this pepper spray and then another one or two of them come out somewhere and attacking me then I will be in trouble since my uh, dog pepper spray is empty and this is the uh, spray that i spray on this piece of paper here on my target and this is how it looks like it's also got onto my fence here 
And there you go, warriors. This is the dark pepper sprays from Sapers. And as you can see that I was able to use this pepper spray to spray my target from six foot away, from about 12 foot away. And after some good bit of spray, then the bottle is empty. If I'm going to be attacked by multiple dogs, then this, I'm not too confident using it on multiple dogs. And I will have to consider to get a bigger bottles of dog spray. And as well as I want a product for me to know that it will work on all different types of dogs and not just only most of the dogs. And there you go. This is the test that I did today for the dog pepper spray. It is better to have some sort of protection than not to have any. And when you need it, we have it available for you. And I don't want you to put yourself in danger, either walking somewhere or even traveling to a country where there are going to be aggressive dogs that are attacking you and you are not able to defend yourself you're not able to protect your own lives and now you know there is an option for you to consider to protect yourself is dog pepper spray the drawbacks of using a pepper spray is that it has expiration date and with this pepper spray after you keep it for a certain amount of time then it's going to expire and you will need to buy another bottles of this pepper spray and like I said I will have to consider looking into a bigger bottle of dog pepper spray and as well as I want to make sure the products that I use is going to work on all different types of dogs thank you so much for watching have an amazing day take care now and I will see you again in the next video bye bye